it's time for our story time today. This book is called Lunch by Denise Fleming. Mm, is anybody else hungry for lunch? I think I could use some lunch. Mouse was very hungry. He was so hungry. He ate a crisp white. Oh, what's this vegetable? Does anybody know? Oh, turnip. Then he had some tasty orange. Oh, what's that vegetable? Carrots. Yum. After that, he had some sweet yellow corn. Then he had some tasty green peas. Yum, 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 yum. Does anybody like peas? I don't like peas. Ugh. After that, he ate some tasty blue berries. Ooh, he's kind of making a mess, isn't he? Then he had some sour purple grapes. Ooh, I love grapes. Then he had some shiny red apples. Ooh, tasty. And then he had a juicy pink. Ooh, what's that fruit? It's a watermelon. Good job. He ate the crunchy black seeds and all. Ugh. Do you guys eat the seeds when you eat watermelon? Ew, yuck. Then he took a nap. Oh, he ate so much, he was so tired. He took a nap until <gasps> dinner time. The end. All right, yeah. Did you guys like that story? Yeah, I did too. Okay, so now that our story's over, it's time for a puppet show. Who's ready for a puppet show? That's great, I'm so glad you guys are ready. Now this puppet show is called The Three Billy Goats Gruff, and it's about some Billy Goat brothers who go get some lunch of their own. All right, you ready to watch the puppet show? All right, let's get started. The Carlsbad Puppet Theater presents The Three Billy Goats Gruff, a puppet show. Once upon a time, in a land of high mountains, narrow valleys, in a beautiful pasture near a river, lived the Three Billy Goats Gruff. Now between a high mountain and a narrow valley ran a deep river. And under the stone bridge that crossed that river, there lived an ugly, ugly creature. A mean and ugly troll. This is my bridge, and no one can go across it, unless I say so. Who is crossing my bridge? It's, it's, it's just me, a little Billy Go Crab. I, I was just crossing the bridge to find some food in the beautiful pasture. Who are you? I am a troll, and I own this bridge, and I am going to eat you up. Oh, please don't eat me, Mr. Troll. I'm so small. You'll never get any bigger because I'm going to eat you up. But I'm so small. 
I'm no meal at all for you. My bigger brother will soon be along and he will make a far better meal. Why don't you eat him instead? Very well. Be on your way and be quick about it. But your brother had better be along soon. I'm hungry. Oh, he will be. I will just hide under the bridge and catch the second billy goat. Who is crossing my bridge? It's I, a, a, a bigger Billy Go Gruff. I, I, I'm going to the pasture to get food so I can grow even bigger. Who are you? I am a troll, and I own this bridge. And you will never get any bigger because I'm going to eat you up right now. But I'm, I'm not very big. Look, Mr. Troll, I'm no meal at all. In a half an hour after you eat me, you'll be hungry again. My bigger brother will soon be along and he'll make a far better meal for you. Why don't you eat him instead? Very well. Be off with you. But your big brother had better get her quickly. I am getting hungrier by the minute. Oh, he will be. He will. I'm going to hide under the bridge and catch the biggest billy goat for sure. Who is crossing my bridge? It is I, the biggest Billy Go Graf. I'm going to the pasture for food. Who are you? I am a troll, and I own this bridge. And you'll never get to that pasture, because I'm going to eat you up. We shall see about that. Aren't you scared? No. Come ahead. Make my day. Well, you had better be scared because I'm going to eat you up. Ha 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 ha. Come right ahead. What are you waiting for? Ha 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 ha. That was just practice. I'll get through this time. And so the troll fell into the middle of the big river and was never seen again. The Big Billy Goat Gruff went across the bridge to the beautiful pasture to meet his brothers, the middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff and the small Billy Goat Gruff, and to eat and eat and eat. This book is called, The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog. Oh, a hot dog. Yummy, yummy, yummy. How many of you guys eat hot dogs? I love hot dogs. Ah, oh, may I help you? Scooty, scoot, scoot. Is that a hot dog? Not a hot dog. My hot dog. Doesn't look like he wants to share. 
Ah, I have a question. I've never had a hot dog before. What do they taste like? I guess you guys probably know what a hot dog tastes like. Well, they are a taste sensation. Each morsel is a joy, a celebration in a bun. Yummy. If you've never experienced the splendor of a hot dog, you should really. Wait a second, he's on to him. This hot dog is mine. I found it. Of course, enjoy. Go ahead. Looks like he's watching him eat the hot dog. Ah, uh, would you say it tastes like chicken? Do you guys think hot dogs taste like chicken? I don't think so. Can you believe this guy? What? It just tastes like a hot dog, okay? Okay, okay. So it doesn't taste like chicken then? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm a curious bird. That's it. This, it's my hot dog, right? Mine, mine, mine. This is unbelievable. Finders keepers is what I say. I'm a curious bird. What do they taste like? Blah, blah, blah. Ye right. I can't take it anymore. What am I supposed to do? So what do you think is going to happen? I think I've got an idea. You know you're pretty smart for a duckling. Hmm, this needs mustard. So it looks like the duckling got the pot dog after all. The end. So thank you for listening to the story. Hope you enjoyed it. Are you excited and ready for a puppet show? I know I am. Awesome. This puppet show is called Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I thought he'd never, I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please, I'll be careful. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives the bus almost every day. True story. Vroom, vroom, vroomity, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No, I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus. <sighs> I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great. Thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Bye, guys. The end.